I'm Hazel. And I'm Luke. And we're from Stonehaven in the northeast of Scotland. As explorers for the Royal Scottish Geographical Society, we're passionate about making a positive difference in the world and sharing experiences from our own expeditions with others. And something that's really hit home for us is seeing the effects of the climate emergency with our own eyes. In Arctic Norway, we met with reindeer herders struggling to adapt to this changing climate. There, rain is falling in winter now, as well as snow, meaning the reindeer can't paw through the ground to get to their food and survive. In Canada, we saw a glacier that had retreated so much that the water level of lakes downstream was really, really low, meaning that fish were impacted and therefore food and industry for the local people who lived there. And in Alaska, we saw widespread damage caused by flooding to communities and homes all along the Arctic coast. And this is caused by rising sea levels due to melting ice sheets like the one in Greenland. We've also seen flooding in our hometown of Stonehaven and broader across Scotland and the UK, with many people having to be evacuated from their homes. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is what's known as a greenhouse gas. Now imagine this gas is a huge blanket that covers our earth, trapping heat. It's a natural process that warms the planet, but human activities are increasing the amount of carbon dioxide. And this makes this blanket even thicker, trapping more heat and warming up the planet. This human activity is throwing the natural world out of balance. So up until about 150 years ago, humans didn't produce many greenhouse gases. But with innovations and in industry requiring energy, we've used more and more fossil fuels, that's coal, oil, and natural gas, to meet this demand. And burning these fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, warming up the planet. And just like we've seen on our expeditions, this is having a huge impact on humans and animals alike. So the good news is there are lots of solutions to the climate emergency. We all need to play our part, governments, businesses and individuals. And make sure these solutions are fair for everyone. Well, a good place to start is to measure your own environmental footprint and then learn what actions you can take. And as well as personal actions, you can encourage others and use your voice to create real change. You have the power to make a difference and shape the world for the better.